see what what had happened was life 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 one gg zero i i don't have any other excuse but welcome back to my channel i am gg of ggmated.com you know you know the knitter the blogger and all that other stuff it's been a month it's been a long month it's been a i don't I'm at a loss for words, but I'm here. I'm here. And I, I will honestly say to you guys, I have been struggling to be here. I did not want to come here and be full of the world as it stands today, but I'm here. So we're going to talk. We're going to talk about what's been going on over the last month or so. Um, we're going to talk about... Mm, 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 mm. I got um, mail. Um, yeah, and this, let's get into it. My never ending whip. And yeah, let's just, y'all ready? Okay, <laughs> let's start with mail. We're gonna start there. So let's, let's. Mm, 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 mm. I got, mm, 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 mm. I got mail, I got mail. Come on in here and see this mail. You know you wanna see my mail cause I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. Yeah, there's been a lot of mail. When I sat here and went through, first, again, guys, let me say, I'm sorry. I truly, truly did not realize that it's been a month. Every weekend I go and I just, can y'all feel it? It's been, I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I don't even know how to explain how the pandemic, the social unrest, the just, the just the ugliness that is the world in which we reside right now is taxing. But anyway, let's do some good stuff. So we're gonna talk mail first, just so you guys can get an idea of where, where I'm going this today. We're gonna talk mail first, then we're gonna talk about my whip, then we're gonna talk about my thoughts, my feelings, what's been going on, what I've been involved in, and stuff like that. So you guys ready? Okay, so let's start with the latest mail because you guys remember, I guess that was the last post that I put up with the three sweaters and the knit collage, um, knit along spring knit along and I did the cardigan right and you guys know every time I mention uh knit collage I say the same thing Amy I need orange yarn well she did it she did it guys knit collage now offers a new yarn and as you, couple couple things we want to say about this. First of all, I love this rusty orange. I absolutely love it, right? So this is, is it going to tell me about it? Right, here it is. The color is called Paprika. The yarn is called Serenity. And it is 85% wool and 15% nylon. So you see the kind of texture. I'm going to put a picture in here of Vanessa with the hat. They have a free pattern that's a hat and a scarf. I don't know that I'll make the scarf. I might do a cow instead. But that hat, baby, when I show it to you, you're going to know what I mean. 
but they did it. So there is now, if you are like me and you are an orange lover, I love this rusty. It makes you feel fall and warm. I, I love this. So I plan on making that hat. Like I said, it is a free pattern on their website. Don't ask me the name of the pattern right now because I don't know, but I just know it's a like a newsboy type thing with a slight brim and it's slouchy and you know I love texture and this just gives you the texture all by itself. You don't have to do any special stitches. Thank you, Amy. I am happy, happy, happy. So that was the first thing. So that's Knit Collage. It's Serenity. This color is called Paprika and there's a free pattern on their website. So that was the first thing. The other thing was, you guys, I did put up a video with my call to action for Stand in the Gap. And we're gonna talk more about that. But I put the video up, um, what Stand, Stand in the Gap means. And there has been so many, um, people that have just rallied around that whole call to action in different ways. And this comes from Brave Little Buckaroo. She has a pattern. If you are into embroidery or cross stitch, I never get the difference between the two right. But is this not the cutest thing ever? She has the patterns. Um, I believe the proceeds goes to Black Lives Matter. I will put her information in the down bar. So she sent this to me as well as the project bag. Guys, you know my other favorite thing is hearts. I love hearts. So I just got this the other day, but I really, really, really love this. There's like a hat pattern also that says stand in the gap. I need to make that hat, but um, yeah, so that came. That made me smile. Thank you. That was from Brave Little Buckaroo. Then, I, if these are repeats, forgive me, because I'm not sure if I showed you these bags, but I got these from Stephen and Penelope. I don't even remember which one I got first, but I got one and then I seen the other one and I went back and ordered another one. But are these the cutest guys? I think, I don't remember which one I got first. But is that not, aren't they cute? And what I love more is, the, the maker is called Love It. And it says, hand printed Nico bag on 100% God's cotton with eco water based inks. Handcraft by women who are new locals in Amsterdam, immigrants from all over the globe who face employment challenges. So I really felt like, you know, I didn't know any of that. You know what got me, the orange, right? So I fell in love with the orange. But when I read the women behind it, I'm, I'm really happy that I supported it. So again, I got this bag from Stephen and Penelope and... I don't know which one I got first, but then I seen the other one and I had to get it. Aren't these cute? They're so cute. They're so cute. They're so cute. So I'm in love with those. Um, oh. I have to get that yarn. So. Do you guys, have I shared with you my obsession with puzzles? Um, I have not done an actual physical puzzle in quite some time, but I have an app. It's called, I believe it's called Magic Puzzle on my iPad. And there's not many nights that I don't end my night with a puzzle on my uh, iPad. So this, when I saw that Shelly can't have puzzles, I had to have it. My only issue is right now, I need some sort of table that I can leave up and start putting this together without worrying about Gunner. So I haven't started it yet. I did start it, but then I put it away because I really need to have some place that I can put it and keep it. But I was happy to get that from Shelly Can. So that is that. 
Uh, what else is over here? I need to get the, the cotton. Hold on. So, a company by the name of... Is that Circulo? Circulo? Cir Cir I don't know if I'm saying it right. But they sent me... Their thing is cotton. And they sent me all of this cotton. So, this, this is one. They sent me six skeins of this. And this is... 100% mercerized virgin Brazilian cotton. And then they sent me six skeins of this one as well. And this is, forgive me guys. Okay, I can't, this is in Spanish. This is 100% cotton too. Algoda. I need a Della. I don't know how to say that, but they sent me that as well. So I just recently saw a um, dress from Knittitude that's in cotton, but I don't know that I have enough of either one of these, um, but I want to try it. It's a, a sleeveless V-neck little dress. It's so cute, but I want to try it. So that came a while ago and they also shared with me the um they sent like a, a pattern book to kind of give you ideas of the different things that you can make with the cotton so I thought that was really nice I always feel bad and I want to say this for those of you that are out there that um consider sending me yarn one, you don't have to do that. Two, you don't have to do that. And three, if you do, if I, because usually now I say no. I won't even give my address. I say no, thank you. Um, I appreciate the thought, but no, thank you, right? But if I do take it, the problem is, then I get the questions. Oh, did you use it yet? Did you use it yet? Guys, the odds of me getting it and using it right away is slim to none. I have so much yarn and I have things that I've already planned to make. And so, yeah, if you, you know, if you have sent me yarn and you're feeling some kind of way because I haven't used it yet, I, I don't know what to say. Did you give it to me because you wanted me to have it or you gave it to me because you wanted me to use it and therefore mark it for you? I so think about that, guys. If you're going to send me something, if it's just for me, be satisfied with I have it and I'm, I appreciate it and I like it and I will get around to using it. If you're giving it to me because you want to use it as some sort of marketing tool, then you need to say that so that I can let you know that I can't do that for you. Got that off my chest because that's been bothering me. Then in the mail, you guys know that I absolutely love, 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 love Elizabeth from Squam, right? First of all, my heart's broken that all these things had to be canceled because I had such a year in front of me. But I want, I was so looking forward to going to the retreat so that, you know, I love the way you know, the stamps that she uses, the, the washi tape, just, it's just the cutest thing. Do I have the, I don't have the card in here that she made for me. I don't know what I did with it. But Elizabeth sent Shelby and I both, oh, here it is. Shelby and I both gifts. Um, she sent fresh herbs from her garden um, and a nice card. Your work in the world is making a difference. Thank you for shining your radiance and wisdom so that we all can see more clearly. I see you. I love you. And I'm I'm all yours always, Elizabeth. She's such a sweetheart. Such a sweetheart. So there's my card. And then she made these two signs that I want to get. So this one was for me. And it says, she, in the dark, found light, brighter than many ever see she within herself found loveliness through the soul's own mastery 
And now the world receives from her dower the message of strength of inner power. That's by Langston Hughes. So absolutely love that. And then for Shelby, she made one that says, can't nothing make your life work if you ain't the architect. Bite on that for a minute. So that was another thoughtful gift. And she also sent, I can't say this either, so I'm not even going to butcher it. But it was a um, book of patterns, a pattern book. And it has some really nice stuff in here. So... I was pleased, pleased, pleased. Please, please. Nice stuff. So, I think... Oh, no. I was getting ready to say that's all, but I forgot about my magpies. So... Okay. Let's talk about magpies. So I'm, I'm going to do this separate. We're going to stop. This is mail, but I need to. Okay, let me do the mail first and then we'll go back. So you guys know that there is um, a colorway from magpie called On Purpose that, were made, that was made in my honor. And it is that deep, rich orange that I love. So this is the latest gg orange and this one is going to be called <laughs> gg is the greatest isn't this gorgeous guys oh my god that is such a deep rich ready orange is that's i love it so and i giggled when i said gg is the greatest because you guys may or may not know but adela's favorite color is olive green and they did a a green for Adela and it's called Adela is the greatest. So when she said she gave me the options of names, I'm like, I I wanna I wanna be the greatest too. <laughs> but isn't that gorgeous? And I just got this the other day too. So that's mail. That's mail. And let's talk about my whip now. Okay? Okay. So when I was here last, I couldn't let you see what I was working on because at that point the colorway hadn't been um debuted I guess is the pr proper word to say um I think I shared with you guys that as a part of knit stars you get a yarn partner and of course I chose that damn Della and there's an exclusive yarn for knit stars and you can only get it if you signed up for knit stars and i will be honest with you and say that every time i see something that i want to make or i ask adela for her assistance i'm always like okay she's got to be tired of orange one two i can't even imagine her finding another shade of orange but when i tell you she did it again this is Citrus Sunrise. It is exclusive to Knit Stars, meaning you can only purchase it if you purchase Knit Stars. So I keep getting this question, so I'm going to answer this now. Knit Stars um, will be available again in the fall, so you will have another opportunity to sign up if you have not. And once you sign up, you then will get an opportunity to purchase this yarn. But again, this is Citrus Sunrise, and you see she has that that bold yellow in there she always got to throw her speckles in there she know i'm not a speckle person but she just makes it look so good and i really am not a speckle person but is that gorgeous guys that is gorgeous so now i can show you my never-ending whip this will go down in history as the longest I've ever taken on a sweater, ever. But I'm at the ribbing now, so we are good to go. Um, and the way that this was done, this was different because this, you go back and pick up the neckline and do your ribbing 
around there. Um, but this is Weekend at the Coast by Marie Green. And I will say to you that I have struggled with this pattern. No, with making this particular sweater, not because of the pattern, just because of my state of mind and everything that's going on. So I made a couple of boo-boos with the this ribbing. It's supposed to go all the way around and I quit. So at one point I said I was just gonna go back and drop down and put the rib, but I'm not. I'm gonna leave it as it is. The only thing I'm going to correct is I have three panels in one sleeve and two in the other. So I'm going to add, when I pick up the sleeves, I'm gonna drop the stitch down and fix that so that the sleeves match. But other than that, I'm gonna leave it as it is. But is this yarn yummy or is it yummy? I say it's yummy, 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 yummy. That's Citrus Sunrise. That's that damn Della Lola Bean Yarn Co. And the pattern is um, Weekend at the Coast. So what I want to say is this is sport weight. And when I tell you I struggle to find sport weight patterns, I, I don't... Is there a reason designers don't use sport weight yarn? I don't know. I struggle. I, I like I really, really had to dig deep to find a sport weight pattern that I liked. Um, but I'm loving this, loving how it's coming up. And hopefully, excuse me, I'll be finished. Excuse me. Shortly, shortly, surely. I should be finished. I just so let's. We're going to get on right to the next, just where I'm at lately these days. You ready? Okay, so we all know that, I don't even remember the exact date at this point, that we had a horrific incident that just turned this world on its side. And that is the murder of George Floyd. And we were all already feeling some kind of way with this pandemic and having to stay in and having to uh, just revamp your whole existence. You know, you can't go anywhere without masks. You just have to really take care of yourself because it's like we have we're just fighting to exist. So add on to that, being black and having to deal with racism. Just call a spade a spade. Having to deal with racism. And I think it started because someone asked me, was I okay? So the first video was like, no, I'm not okay. I don't know how anybody could be okay. We just watched the man, like literally watched the life drain away from him on camera. So anyway, so that led to my call to action, um, stand in the gap, right? People kept saying to me, Gigi, what can I do? I hate to see you so sad. How can I help you? Um, and I kept saying, it's bigger than me. I appreciate that everybody wants to help me, per se, but it's bigger than me, right? You know, Black people in general need help. And we can't do this ourselves anymore. We've tried. Everything that we do as a people, we're wrong. Um, we march, we're wrong. We take a knee, we're wrong. Whatever we do, we were wrong, and we needed help. And that's where the Stand in the Gap call to action came to life right? Um, what is stand in the gap? Stand in the gap is stop turning your head when things are happening. Stop being privy to conversations and not saying anything, especially if you don't agree, right? Stop sitting in that yarn shop when I walk in and am ignored. If you don't agree, say something, right? You can say something to them and they will hear you versus me trying to say something to stand up for myself and wind up coming home dead, right? So 
that's where the whole Stand in the Gap initiative came from. So as a result of that, I have been a part of two fundraisers that I am very, very proud of. First, you have Bertie Parker. So you guys know Bertie Parker. She does the, the jewelry. She does the shawl cuffs. She did the special orange shawl cuffs for when I was at Stitches West. You guys know Bertie Parker. So Bertie Parker has these valet trays, right? I saw them um, on her Instagram feed, I think. And the original one, I have an original one. I don't know where it is, but it has a yarn bowl in it, ball in the center of it. And so I ordered it because it was orange and I thought it was cute and I wanted to support her. So I ordered one. But when it came, it had two in it. And this one has my logo in it, guys. So, of course, Adela knew. They, they some sneaky folks. But at any rate, she had sent me a message and she said, when you get your tray, let me know because I want to talk to you about something. So she said she wanted to do a fundraiser and for me to pick an organization and we would do a fundraising, 100% of the proceeds would go to that organization. So in light of everything that was going on, of course, I picked Black Lives Matter. And these trays come in, I think it was six or seven different colors. So I told her, because you know Birdie and I love orange, right? That's our, we fight because orange, right? So I told her, we can't, we have to do all the colors. So long story short we raised thirty thousand dollars um to go to black lives matters and the trays are still showing up in my timeline people are still getting them i think last time i checked with her she has about a little under 800 more to go she had like 16 1700 trays to make the fundraiser was truly a success and so if you do follow me on other social media and you were aware and you participated thank you um if you missed out i don't know when birdie will make these again i can imagine she is super duper tired of looking at these things because as i said if i remember correctly it was about 16 or 1700 of them she sold so um yeah but that was the first thing so that was my birdie parker so as I was just telling you guys, I was talking about Magpie, Damie reached out to me and she was like, Gigi, I want to, you know, if you don't mind, I would like to participate in a fundraiser. And um, whether you guys know or not, Damie is my sweetheart, love her. You know, I've met some people that right from the onset, they were just good people. I never felt like I was being tokenized or they were trying to use me. They were just good people and Damie falls in that category. So I can remember that evening, she was, uh, we were going back and forth in DMs and Instagram. And I'll be honest and say to you that I was tired and I was reading every other word or every five words that Damie said. All I saw was fundraiser. I was like, okay, just tell me when, tell me what you need me to do. And I'm there. I, I had no idea, right? So fast forward week or so later she sends me a note and say you're gonna have mail you should have it on thursday so i get the mail and where is it? oh please i get the mail and this was the fundraiser guys these these little um tumblers i guess you want to call them and as you can see, it says stand in the gap and it says commit to change, which is what standing in the gap is, right? So you had an option, one of the other colors, and 100% of the proceeds, yet again, is going to the conscious kid. So I'll be honest and say to you guys, I was feeling some kind of way because I had just had a fundraiser that was phenomenal, right? And I wanted you know, to have that same experience. I wanted Damie's um, fundraiser to be just as successful, but I wasn't sure because we had just did it. But let me tell you about my fiber friends, okay? My fiber community. And I'm claiming mine because when I tell you y'all showed up and showed out yet again, 
over 30,000. I want to say it was 32,000. I don't remember the exact number. I will put it down on the screen when um, before I finalize this. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Like <clears throat> having this tumbler. Do we? Do, do any of us need another mug or a cup or? No, we don't. But conversation piece, right? Here's a way to broach the subject. Somebody say, "Stand in the gap." What does that mean? You can have that conversation. Right, and you can get somebody else involved, and somebody else is willing because <sighs> I can't do this. We can't do this. Black people can't make this change. We need you all. We need you all to stand in the gap, to commit to change, to help us get justice, to help us just live. So so 30,000 seems to be the magic number. And I was super, super proud about that as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So as a result of all that, I had um, some merchandise created. So here is the Stand in the Gap graphic. So now you can get stickers on my website you can get um merch i have t-shirts bags coffee mugs all of these things can be found on site and the enamel pins are coming um yeah because this is a conversation that needs to be had i keep saying you know Everybody is not about that go out in March life. Everybody, you know, is not prepared to dodge tear gas and rubber bullets, but you want to do something. So I felt like this call to action, this initiative, you don't even have to leave your house because odds are the gap starts at your kitchen table, right? The gap is summertime. The gap is in your backyard with your family, right? You know, the gap is not agreeing with your neighbor that's saying all sorts of racially charged things to have a conversation. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a, um, a debate or argument or, you know, it, it may turn there, um, but stand up and let them know that you don't agree. That's, that's what stand in the gap is. And, and, and it started out, I think when I saw that picture and I'm not, I'm sure you've probably seen it by now, but at the height of the protests, um, there was a line of white people locking arms, standing between the police and the protesters. That's the gap, right? That's the gap. That's the gap. We need your help is what the gap is about. So that's, that's where I've been. That's why I haven't, um, been able to upload. Um, actually this weekend I had to take a break. I had to just unplug for a moment because here we go again with the rush of followers and um, Adela coined it the black wave, right? And that first black wave was January of last year where I got this burst of growth and I felt myself standing at my virtual Instagram door like, guys, all I have for you, if you're looking for color is orange, please, please, please don't follow me because I'm black, please don't do that to me. Like, I don't, don't do that to me. So here we go with black wave number two. Guys, I've gained 10,000 followers in probably a two to three week time frame, and it's still going, right? And I get it, you know, my video, it touched folks. It, you know, I've had people that followed me initially, but left which is your option but now came back and then shared with me that they left because i continue to talk about me being black adela said it best i can't zip this off guys i can't turn it off i can't not be black when i get tired of being black that's i that's not how this works so if me talking about my life my experiences you know me in this knitting industry as a black woman bothers you and that's okay you you don't have to follow you can 
unfollow. It's it's not personal. I promise it's not. So here we go again with the wave. Here we go with the rush of Gigi, you know, I want to do a fundraiser and I feel used now because Birdie, as I said, we got a relationship. No Birdie. That's my orange sister. We fight. Birdie had the tips of her hair dyed orange the last time I saw her. We battle, right? She always got to brag and show me some orange she has. Whatever. I have just as much orange too, right? Damien and I have a relationship. It's these people that I don't know that are coming at me and you know, they want to do a fundraiser. Why? Why you want to do a fundraiser with me? Why you want to do a fundraiser with me now? Right? I'm not to be used, guys. I'm not to be used. And that's how I feel. I feel used, whether it's a white person or a black person. If you can't be bothered with me under normal circumstances, and that's cool. Please understand that that's cool. I am not for everybody. And I'm not trying to be for everybody. I'm grown at the end of the day. Right? You don't like me, that's your option. But here's the thing. Now, because of this second wave and everybody is GG, 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 now you want to partner with me. Now you want me to work with you. Why? You guys, th does that make sense? You see why I, I kind of feel used, right? And, and it's not just white people. It's my own people. I'm not to be used by anybody. Please be clear. I'm not I'm not doing that. So if I don't feel comfortable with something, no, I'm not coming on your podcast. No, you can't introduce inter interview me for your blog post because guys, half this stuff is about them. I don't I don't get a benefit from it. I'm beyond needing exposure. Like don't tell me, "Oh, I I can give you I don't need exposure." And if I was white, you wouldn't offer me exposure. You would offer to pay me. So, that's where I've been, guys. That's why I haven't been able to um, just come and be me. Because I'm trying to figure out how to navigate the world as it stands right now. Right? Um, so, that's where I've been. That's where I've been. And I never thought that I would be to a point where I can't knit, right? I can't settle myself enough to relax in my knitting. I can't settle myself enough to hide in my knitting. Because you guys know that my knitting came along as a part of my grief. And I feel like right now I am grieving. I'm grieving for Black people, right? Um, and then I've had, you know, the people that want to tell me, oh, I, you know, I'm going to have to unfollow you because... I thought this was a knitting account, not politics. A couple things rubs me the wrong way with that whole statement. Because I said this before and I'll say it again. The X is in the same spot. I promise you, I've checked on multiple devices, multiple platforms. The X, hit it. You don't have to be here if you don't want to. If I say something, I change. You don't like what I'm talking about. That's your option. But to feel the need to hold your follow over my head as if it's some sort of weapon did i say i was grown i'm grown you following or not following me is not going to make a difference in my life like please get over yourself right and that whole is this a knitting account or is this politics being black is not political it is who i am Right. And, and frankly, I'm tired of yet again, another hashtag, another black person unjustly being murdered at the hands of the police. No, I'm over it. And if that me having that conversation, expressing those feelings on my platform bothers you, by all means, unfollow. I'm not mad. You didn't announce when you decided to follow me. You do not need to announce when you want to unfollow me. I'm, I'm not. So that's that's where I've been, guys. It's just, it's been hard being me here lately. It's, whew, right? Can we just get back to knitting? What does that look like? Because I don't think I've ever been able to just knit. 
I don't think my blackness has never not been, and I know that sentence is not right, but along with my knitting comes my blackness. So if my black life doesn't matter to you, then my black knitting doesn't matter. So yeah, cause yeah, I had the whole all lives matter too. Saying that black lives matter does not mean that your life doesn't, does not mean that I am trying in any way, shape, form or fashion to take anything away from you. What I'm saying is right now, right here and now, and it's been that way for quite some time. We need help. We need, we, why people don't get that racism is bad and it needs to go away. And to, to argue against that just makes me, my stomach has been in knots for weeks. I don't care what I eat. I've tried changing. I've tried no dairy, no cheese, no everything. And I swallow air and my stomach hurts. It's stress. Guys, so this is why I have been absent for a month. I apologize. Um, but I'm back as much as I can be back. Um, I have joined the consistency challenge. Um, so I will be blogging every day, uh, Monday through Friday for the month of July. So if you need a little bit more of me in your life, if you're not following the blog, I would suggest doing that. Um, I do plan on coming back again. I committed to once a week for you guys. And this has just been an extraordinary time. And I promise I'm going to get back on track. Either on a Sunday or Monday, you're going to get an upload from me at least once a week. So that's where I've been. So I'm going to ask a question because I, I wouldn't be me if I didn't ask. How are you? Like, talk to me in the comments. How you doing? You know, the... We started with the whole phases of opening the world back up and that backfired because people just want to just go ham and we're paying the price for it. Um, so tell me how you're doing. And then most importantly, be careful, please. If you have to go out there, protect yourself. Know that uh, Corona never went away. I read a post that said... Um, Somebody said, what happened to Corona? They was like, oh, no, this is has time. Racism is performing. Corona is sitting there waiting to come over back and take the stage. And that's exactly what's happening right now. So take care of you, how, whatever that looks like. If that means unplugging, as I've done, like I, I had to just shut Instagram off for a while because that's where my largest audience is. And that's where... Um, the bulk of the tug comes from. I just had to uh, turn notifications off for my email. I'll get to that next week. I can't, you know, it's just been a lot. It's been a lot. So that's where I'm at. I hope you guys forgive me. I promise to get back on track and do my once a week. But again, if you need a daily dose of me, make sure you're following the blog um, because that's where I'm going to be a lot this month um, because like I said, Monday through Friday, I will be blogging. Um, I'll be there in the comments to respond to you guys or answer any questions that you have. And I'm going to get that blog on a consistent basis too. So I'll be once a week here and maybe once a week on the blog. I don't know, maybe twice on the blog, we'll see. But I need to get my act together. Um, and be more consistent and that's the plan. So that's my story, guys. I, I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. If you are on Instagram, you know that Adela, Shelby, and I still go live um, every night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, Monday through Friday. So, and there's some days that I'm there, but I'm not. I just sit in the background and let Adela and Shelby do the thing. But if, you know, you need a little bit more to me, can't wait for the week. That's the best place to find me. So that's all I got. I'm going to edit this. I'm. This is Sunday. I'm recording on Sunday. This probably won't go up until tomorrow because, yeah. So don't forget, talk to me. How you doing? Tell me, tell me how you doing because this world, ugh, tell me how you doing.
as always, thanks for being here. Thanks for commenting. Um, and if you are new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Please like and comment. And I'll see you guys next week.